So here we are. We are going to show how the tool Xtrans, the transcription tool Xtrans, can help you segment your audio and transcribe your audio. So go ahead and uh, click on Start down there, and you'll see the window has popped up. It's a free tool which we've installed on the web, and then um, and. Uh, so then, yeah, why don't you describe what you're doing? Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to go to File, scroll down to Open Audio File, and then you're going to want to find an audio file that you're going to work with. So in this case, we're going to be going through this repository. Let's see. So once you double click on that, it will automatically open up into Xtrans. Let's open it here. And the first thing you're actually going to want to do when you open this up is you're going to want to scroll down over to here and check that box. That way you're going to get audio. Check uh, what box? This box over here. Can you wiggle the mouse? Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah, the one on the right. The when you first right. open up Xtrans in an audio file, that's not going to be checked. But okay. And what does that do? It, it's just going to make sure that you have audio from both sides rather than just one. Oh, like stereo? Mm hmm okay. Exactly. Okay. Now what? And then the first thing you're going to want to do after doing that is you're going to want to start over here at the zero mark. Click on that. So you're going to see a red line, and that red line is going to be your marker for where you're at. Okay. in the audio file. Basically like where the tape head is. Exactly. Okay. exactly. And then from there to start the audio file um, you press Alt and M. Okay, Alt, M. And as you can see up here the file's playing. We have this, we have the sound off. But um, the file's playing and, and whenever... Have, yeah, I'm sorry. We have the sound off to protect the innocent because it's <laughs> clinical data we have there. Okay. And then whenever the speaker's done with their turn, you press Alt-M again. Alt-M for mic. Okay. And then to create the speaker, you're going to press Control and N. Okay. And then you're going to get this little screen right here. Okay. So from there, you're going to want to change speaker ID to whatever the ID is going to be. Uh, in this instance, we call them... Researcher 1, because the first person to speak is the researcher usually. Press OK, and then you can see up there, there's the researcher. And then after that, the only thing you have to do is just press Alt M again to begin the next section. So press Alt M again. File plays. Let's say the person stops speaking right here. And okay, so how did you stop it? Alt M. Okay, so so basically that red square is the segment of tape where the second speaker was speaking. Is yeah, that right? Exactly. Okay. And then from there you create the second speaker. And you do that just by hitting Control N again. Control N for new. new. We'll just say it's, it stands new. for new. Oh, new, right. Um, and because we only have one speaker, it automatically assumes that it's the same speaker as before. So we right-click on this. Oh, okay. And it gives you a couple of different options. For this one, we're going to want to assign new speaker ID. Um, if you accidentally use uh, the wrong speaker, but you have all of your speakers set up, you're going to want to change it to merge into another speaker. Oh. And then it's going to give you the option of what speaker to choose. Okay. Um, but in this case, it's just assign new speaker ID. Right. And then... We have this screen pop up again, uh -huh. and this will be participant one. Right. And there you go. So it's a different uh, color. It'll help track it a little bit easier for you. So can you show typing in? Sure. Let's say we're, we're listening to it, and they say, you know, the cat sat on the mat. Okay. So once you have your area segmented, you can highlight whatever uh, segmentation you want to work with. So if you want to go back to the researcher, all you do is click on the area that you want taken care of, in which oh, case okay. it would be here. So you just clicked on it in that mm -hmm. part, and then and down it, here... You're going to see it's highlighted that area. Right, so it used to, just, it used to be... Um, show the other area again. So if he clicks on participant, participant, then it goes down here to that 
to where that at is, like yes. uh, twenty twenty seconds. Is that is that say twenty seconds? Uh, twenty to twenty five seconds. Yeah, twenty to twenty five seconds, and then when you click on researcher one, then it goes. Then it's earlier in the tape. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So you you're gonna hit play and you're gonna listen to that section and then you're gonna type what he says. So, so oh, okay. to do playback, all you do is hit tab. Oh. And that'll start. Oh. It'll start from the beginning of the segment that you have highlighted. Oh. And then from there you can press Alt plus P, and okay. that'll pause it. Oh right, because you'll hear the cat's out on the mat, and then I went to the bathroom, and you want to hit stop at the cat's out on the mat because you're gonna have to take time to type that. Exactly. Right. Oh, so you hit exactly. stop, and then can you show typing? Uh, sure. So, what's the phrase we want to use? The cat sat on the mat. So, <laughs> the cat sat out on the mat. Sure. Sat out on the mat. Okay. Okay. And then. And then we want to continue to the next part of the sentence. Then you right. press Alt P again. So, Alt P just controls the whole pausing. Right. Section. So hit so, all P so we can see the tape. Oh, there's the tape head so, moving. And then and, stop. Okay. Go right. stop. And then just like that. Okay. And all P toggles the movement of the tape. Exactly. Okay. Cool. And then you want to go in the next turn. It's kind of. Yeah. And you hit down arrow to go to the next turn. Yeah. You can scroll through the different um, segments by using the up and down arrows. Okay. So now you could play what they're saying here and type and. So you're, oh, I see, you're playing. And then you can pause it. Right, and Alt then, P. And then, but if you want to start from the beginning again, you just hit Tab again. Oh, Tab. So Tab always sets it to the beginning of that segment. Right, so I bet you're going to be hitting, especially in the beginning of a segment, you're going to be hitting Tab a whole bunch of times. Exactly. Here. What would you say, what was that fourth, fourth word? And, okay, what else do you have to show us? Um, if you're working with a very long segmentation and um, you just need to start at a certain area you can always just go down and click on that area and then play it from there you press tab the problem with that method though is that it un it it doesn't it doesn't stay highlighted that way so you just have to stop it at wherever you need it to stop finish typing and then click back on to the um, the researcher or participant up here to get it highlighted back again. Huh, okay. But by moving the mouse to a particular region and clicking, then when you hit tab, it will you return to that. You can play it that. directly from there. I see, I see. Cool. Yeah. Anything else? Um, overlapping speech is really simple. Um, all you're going to want to do is you're, you'll want to find the area that, let's say, we have the researcher interjects right over here. Just click on that area, Alt and M again, and let's say that's where they stop talking, and mm-hmm. then you just do Control N. First, actually, you're going to want to highlight which one you're going to want to use. So, after you highlight which speaker you'll be using, then you'll press Control N. So, actually, whenever you've gotten your speakers all set up, when they start a new turn, you'll want to make sure that you click on whichever speaker it is okay. over here. Right. And then when you press Control N, then it'll show up as that individual in the transcription. Oh, I see. So you always, if, if you're working on Researcher 1, you want to mm-hmm. have that clicked. Exactly. Whether or not it's overlapping speech. Exactly. Okay. And then if...